Hello guys, here's another video for myself. Yeah, I thought I'd just let you see what I've been painting up over the, the past wee while. Uh, these guys, they've actually been finished painted, well the figures, uh, yeah, well over a week. And I just had the basing left to do. And uh, I sort of put them to the side uh, after I just painted the basin without putting on the started grass and tufts and that. And then I got started on another unit of figures and actually just got carried away and forgot all about them. So this weekend I thought, no, I'm, I'm going to get the basin up finished. And uh, these will be these guys finished off. Uh, so yeah, what we've got in front of you is the Perry Miniatures metal figures. The British Heavy Dragoons. Uh, and these have been painted up as the 6th Regiment, which is the Inner Skillin for the Waterloo campaign. And as usual, uh, a nine figure unit of cavalry for myself. Uh, yeah, so basically it's three different packs. Uh, in the front there, you've got the command pack, trumpeter, officer, NCO. In the middle, we've got the, the pack with the swords raised, and at the back, the pack with the sh uh, shoulder swords. So, yeah, a nice variation, and the other thing, Every figure in the unit's an individual, which is quite good. Quite like that as well. Uh, yeah, I'll just get a lot done around, guys. So we've got the, the trumpeter on the, the white horse. Officer in the middle, with sword raise, and we've got the NCO at the side, looking over at the officer for his next orders. Uh, you see the stripes on his shoulder as well, just to denote him as an NCO. Uh, the horses are all dark brownies. And a red brown colour, and the horse that is on the brown leather as well. Uh, so yeah, I painted the whole unit at once. Uh, as I said in the past, I used to paint them in groups. So I would have probably done, you know, a pack of three from start to finish, then the next three, then the next three. But now, uh, even my infantry units are twenty four. I am doing all the figures at the same time. Uh, at the beginning, when you're just getting started, it seems a bit of a chore when you're just starting to get some base colours on, but in fact, it's actually quite quick getting the base colours on uh, before the wash. And once you start highlighting after that, you can see the figure starting to take shape and that. And uh, before long, you've got the unit finished, so it's, it's a really good way of doing it. I hope for that and stick to that plan. Uh, I see it be knocking the units out a bit quicker than I used to. So yeah, very pleased with that. Uh, yeah, just noticing some loose static grass on the back of some of the horses as we get a wee brush off. I'll, I'll give them a clean off after the video, guys. Uh, so yeah, just keep, you know, turn around. So as I say, nine figure unit, British Heavy the Goon, six in the skillin, areas all metals. Really enjoyed the paint in these guys, and even the cleaning up of the figures. There wasn't a lot of flash on this figures at all, which was good. Uh, I had some other Perry's packs that were quite a bit of flash. Uh, but no, these guys were fine. I so said I really enjoyed painting them. Uh, yeah, lovely. So, uh, the other thing normally what I'm going to do now is when I show a unit of figures, I'm going to go through a couple of paints that I used just because I had been asked in the past by some of you guys out there if I could just run through some of the colours. Uh, so yeah, I mean the brown horses, I think the last unit I've done uh, with the Polish Lancers, a lot of them is the same colour of horses, it's just different shades of dark browns. Uh, I'll pick up a couple of paints here. For the really dark brown, almost a blacky brown, would be the Bay Brown Foundry A shade. Uh, with a black wash over that, yeah, you have a real, a real dark brown horse in that one. I don't think I used that one on this unit. Mostly I used uh, this one here, guys, which is the next one down, which is a Foundry Bay Brown 42B. So that's the mid one. And if you can see at the bottom, it looks quite chocolatey colour. But once you get the, the wash on, the black wash, it does t darken it down. I think I did two coats of the, the black wash over these ones. Uh, yeah, and it came up quite well. 
I think the officer's horse in the front, you can just see that, turn that around there. Yeah, in fact, I'll just lift him up a bit. So yeah, the officer's horse, I'm sure I did that one with that colour of brown. And as you can see, with the black wash on, it has toned it down and looks quite a bit darker. The NCO, that horse, is uh, this one. Again, Foundry Bay Brown. This time, so I've got the shot, C, which is a, a ready brown. Which looks quite bright in the bottom of the pot there. But as I say, once you get the couple of coats of black wash, you can see uh, it really does tone it down a bit. So that's most of the, the colours that I use for the horses. Uh, yeah, the Trumpeter's horse, I, I never really use white. I don't use white paint for doing horses. What I would normally do is either a grey mix or, for this one in particular, I've used the Vallejo Ivory. Yeah, which obviously it's that white colour but not too bright white as you Yeah, you know what I mean. <laughs> uh, and yeah, what I do with that is I, I give the Ivory a thin down wash of the Games Workshop Citadel Argrax Earthshade. Uh, if you put it on, smell out the pot, it can be a bit too dark on the, the ivory, so I normally just thin it down with water and maybe get two thin coats and then uh, just highlight again with the ivory or whatever. Whatever way you want to do it. You could probably leave it just with a wash. Uh, yeah, but that's, that's all the horse colouring, guys. Uh, the grey for the trousers and the saddle blankets was just a mid grey and at the moment I can't actually remember which one I used off the top of my head. It may have been, if I can just, I think it may have been this one, which I, I do tend to use for Napoleonic Brits, the trousers and that, which is basalt grey. I think it may have been that one, but as I say, any sort of mid grey would do fine. Uh, Trousers and Salad Loss, Agrax Earthshade Wash, or any brown wash, and then highlight with the same colour again. Uh, now the red jacket, I used to use this for the British, which is a Vallejo Dark Vermilion, and I used to give it a brown wash and then highlight it up again with the same. But I've actually used, instead of that, a Citadel, Mephestin red, which is slightly darker, and I really like that tone for the, the red jackets of the Brits. And I think I'm going to stick with that for the, the rest of my British. Uh, as I say, that base coat on top of the, uh, I'm not sure if I mentioned, but the guys were painted from the Halfords Grey Primer undercoat, and, what, and, and obviously layered up from there. And this colour, Seems to go on to darker colours as well, quite well, better than the Vallejo. Uh, and as I say, it's just a deeper red, not so bright. Uh, so yeah, the jackets were done with this. Wash with the Agrax Earthshade and then highlighted again with the Mephiston red. Uh, and yeah, I think it comes up well for the Brits. As I say, not too bright, just a nice red colour because, yeah, when you see... Uh, Pictures and red coats and museum pictures and that, they, they do look at like a deeper red, not that bright red that maybe a lot was tend to paint because it looks better. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I went for that one and I think it looks quite good. Uh, so yeah, that's about it guys. And the other thing, what I've done with these guys is my first uh, attempt of, I've changed my varnishing. Uh, I picked it up as a tip from uh, the channel Metal Mercenaries. Sorry, I can't remember Chop's name. It's right up my head at the moment. But he's he does a blog as well, and he was going through how he was painting these World War One figures. And uh, his figures, he's got a really nice matte finish on these figures. And he he said that the spray he was using was the Windsor and Newton, Windsor and Newton Professional Matte Varnish, which I've got myself a can, and. Yeah, here we are guys, that's the one there, I'm just getting it short, sideways. Uh, one's the Newton Professional Matt Varnish, uh, and I've gave these figures two coats of this, it's a rattle can one, two coats of that, and I'm really pleased with the finish on these guys. Uh, at first, when, the, when I sprayed the first coat on, they were quite shiny, I was a bit worried. <laughs> uh, I let it settle then, I came back and I thought, oh no, that's looking good. 
So I thought, well, okay, we'll try a second coat uh, just to get that extra protection. And yeah, I'm real pleased with that. So I'm definitely going to get some more of that varnish. That's going to be my go-to varnish from now on, I think. Uh, I really do like that matte finish. Yeah, excellent. Uh, right, okay, guys, that, that's about it for that, figures. Uh, I've just come back in from the shed this morning, actually. I've been priming up some guys. I like to see these. Uh, again, Perry's Metals, British Napoleonic ADCs. Uh, just giving them the Halfords great primer again. As you can see, these guys are just going to be individually based. Uh, yeah, this one here, he's a, a one-piece casting, which I've said in the past, uh, I'll say it again, I really do like the one-piece casting figures with Paris, are really nice. So yeah, that's one there. Again, this is a pack of three, guys. Uh, the next one here, I think these can be used from... Peninsula right through. So yeah, that's another one there. And finally, here's the, the last chap of the pack here. So, yeah. So these guys will be painted in between whatever units I'm doing. Uh, I'll get some texture on the basin and that next. And that'll be them ready to go as well. Uh, so yeah, that's it guys, I've been watching all your videos, been commenting when I can, uh, been clicking the like button mostly, uh, enjoying all the videos, some really good stuff out there guys, uh, yeah, I'm really enjoying my hobby at the moment, hope you guys are too, and uh, thanks again for watching, and we'll catch you in another video quite soon, okay guys, cheers now, bye bye.